Today I'm going to walk you through installing a different drive variator here and um, installing a different clutch. So first we're going to start by removing all these bolts, which we've already done to ease the process. So we're just going to pull this off evenly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install a new racing variator here. And we're also going to install another clutch. So remove, just we're going to remove the clutch bolt and nut. Move the outside right here. This is our centrifugal clutch. You can see premature wear right here, as well as right here where the pad is broken away, causing us slippage problems. And we're just going to there we are. So this is our clutch right here. So here we have a performance spring, the yellow one on the left here. The one on the right, on the other hand, this is the stock spring that we've just removed. Now if you want to take a look at the spring we've installed, this white one, this is also a performance spring. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that to get a little bit more performance out of our scooter here. So we're going to go ahead and put this right back on. I'm now removing the variator to replace it with a racing variator. I'm going to set these aside and install these Scooter Ninja weights in here. These are ramped rollers. They're a little different. They work really nice though. These are 3 gram. We're also, when we're going to reinstall, this is in their stock. We're going to remove this washer. Get a little bit more speed out of our variator here. And then, these are, this is also a ramped variator. It's a little bit more on the high performance side. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this right over, right over this. Now that I have my variator in place, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'm going to put it back on my crankshaft here. Sorry to do this correctly. Spin it a little bit. Get it to move on here. And slide it right on. I'm going to go ahead and install my Kevlar belt right around here. It helps if I pull in my spring here with my fingers and use that to tighten my belt in. This way I have enough slack to put the front of my belt on my variator properly. And install my retaining spider. And slide that just like so. Now I'm ready to put my nut back over. When installing performance products in your variator or your clutch, you always need to remember to install a Kevlar belt as well due to the excessive amount of wear put on the motor and the strenuous wear that's going to be put on these parts. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure this is tight with an impact wrench. Tighten that up. I'm going to take my other one here. Make sure it's tight as well. That's good.